I am pleased to welcome two guests from Monroe Incorporated to the program, Maureen Mulholland along with Deborah Brundage. Great to have you both here. Welcome. Thank, Thank you. you. So, Maureen, uh, lots of people know Monroe. They've had their cars serviced there through the years here locally. I was fascinated to find out this really is a local story. Tell us a little bit about the history of the company. Sure. Uh, no question that it's a, a great local story for Rochester, great success. Uh, we began in 1957. Uh, Chuck August began the company. He was joined by his brother, Bert, uh, a number of years later. Uh, and they started in a, in a muffler shop in the city of Rochester. Mm -hmm. And from there, we've expanded. We expanded locations, and we've expanded our service offerings. But essentially, our business model has not changed. The business model is to provide total undercar care and personal service. We're very proud to say that we operate nearly 1,300 locations in 30 states. Deborah, let's turn to you. Uh, obviously, through the years, technology evolves, the way the work is being done changes, mm -hmm. and the look of the store will change as well. You've gone through a refresh here. Tell us yes. a little bit about that. I think folks who've been to the stores recently will, see, will have experienced some of these changes. Yes, so we launched our Monroe Forward strategy for sustainable growth just last year. And the first pillar of that strategy is to improve the guest experience through a consistent look and feel at our stores. Our vision is to be the nation's leading auto service and tire centers by providing a five-star guest experience to everyone who comes into our stores. So what did we do? We modernized our brand. We shifted the name from Monroe Muffler and Brake to Monroe Auto Service and Tire Centers because guess what? We sell tires. Mm -hmm. We're actually one of the largest tire distributors and retailers in the nation, and tires represent about 50% of our business. So when a guest comes to our stores, the f when they first walk in the door, the first thing they see is welcome, experience better on our sales pod. And that's our mantra and our key point of difference. Why has this area really been the place that's made the magic go for Monroe? So Rochester is where we're headquartered, and Rochester is our home. And we wanted to start here right in our backyard. We believe as a company and as individuals that we need to service our community, particularly through the United Way and other organizations. And Maureen, we talk about other organizations. Community stakeholders have really helped Monroe uh, continue to grow and uh, uh, facilitate its business model, so to speak, here locally? No, there's no question. We've uh, developed really strong relationships with Greater Rochester Enterprise, the City of Rochester, where our headquarters remain, uh, Monroe County, the State of New York, and we really look to these strong partnerships and the support that we've received from them as an integral part to our success. It's an amazing success story. One store all the way, all the way across the country some 67 years later. Incredible. Continued success. Thanks for coming in. Appreciate Thank the time. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Uh, you can always learn more online. The website is monroe.com. We'll share that link on our site as well. You'll find it at rochesterfirst.com.